again, YouTube. It's me, Ross the Oliver Man, and today I thought we would look at some viewer mail that I have gotten, and I can't believe that people send me anything but hate mail, so I'm always pleasantly surprised when something shows up. So first, I have this thermos, which was sent to me by the Agco corporate shop, and I would say that it was told to be sent here by the dealer that I've been dealing with online, Ag Revolution, out of Corridon. And uh, I really thank you for that. I mean, I've been buying a lot of parts from there online and I appreciate the ability to be able to buy things and just have them shipped here. I can do the looking up and, you know, save people time. So that's really handy. Thank you for this. Uh, like I said, not expected. So it's always pleasant to find something neat in the mail. Next, I have a couple boxes and I want to read you the email that was sent along with them. It's from a viewer named Steve. I don't know if he wants his name on here, so I'll just say Steve. He says, I sent you a couple care packages. One has some Oliver manuals and sales literature. The other one has some parts that it looked like you could use after seeing your videos. The stuff is all from my wife's parents' estate that we've been clearing out for several years. He was an Oliver guy and had about 1570s, 88s, and 880s, along with the miscellaneous related equipment. I grew up on two-cylinder John Deere's, so I was never around Oliver's much. I started watching you and Losey just to learn about the stuff I was trying to sell and ended up getting hooked. I am retired and spent more time than I should on YouTube, but what the heck, it's educational, right? Of the many channels I subscribe to, you are the first one I sent stuff to, so you better feel privileged. The other Oliver guy will be jealous, I bet. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the stuff, and thanks for the entertainment, especially the silent movie. That was from the Getting Stuck video. From a fellow moron, Steve. So let's look at the stuff that he sent me. First box, and I am just thrilled to death about this. I can't believe somebody would send this much stuff, but we have an operator's manual for a 770 and 880, which is handy because I've got more than one tractor and I don't think I had more than one manual. So thank you for that. We have a Xerox copy of the Super 44 uh, literature, which is neat because I don't think I've ever seen it in person anyway. We've got a piece of literature on a 450 pull type plow, which is pretty neat because that's actually a piece that I don't have. So I'm amazed that most of the stuff in the box I don't have. And I figured, you know, I'd get duplicates, but pretty neat that it's something I didn't have. We have some crawler literature, the new Model 3 WI loader for the OC3 crawler. We have literature for the Model D crawler. We have literature for the OC12 crawler. And Model A crawler. And the OC18 crawler. So that's pretty neat. I don't have a lot of uh, industrial literature, so that really adds something to my collection. Thank you for that. We have a operator's manual for an old style 88. That's kind of unusual to see. And an operator's manual for a 77, which is good because I've got more than one of those. A parts catalog for a 770 and 880. So that's nice. It's got everything you need in there. And I've got a lot of parts catalogs, but I don't think I have this one. So that's pretty neat. We have an INT book for super and non super 66, 77, 88, 770, 880. And we have a binder in this box that has a parts book. Well, it's got an operator's book or something for a cultivator, but it's got a parts book for the 88 and super 88. And this is one that I don't have. I have the 66 and 77. And I almost bought one the other day, and then this one showed up in the mail. So that was good timing. So thank you again for that. That was all just uh, 
out of the literature box. Let's see what he sent in the parts box. We have, first of all, wrapped up, we have some original gauges. I haven't even unwrapped them all because they're safe in this bubble wrap. But I think we have a whole set. There's an ammeter gauge. This is an oil pressure gauge. And then here is a temperature gauge. That one's unwrapped. And this is the kind for the pressurized radiator. So that's pretty cool. And a dash light in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see here. What else do we have? We have some collivator guide bolts, it looks like, and some hardware. We have a couple of hydraulic cylinder holders, which is good. I mentioned, I think, in that one video that I wished I had some more because I want to try to eventually put one on every tractor that has hydraulics. So that's pretty cool. These even have the little bolts with them still. A lot of times those are missing. Then we have a plow shin, which is good because watching those plow videos, several of them are wore pretty bad. So that will definitely be put to use. And some trash boards. That will definitely be put to use. Probably on that 5440 plow because it's got one homemade one on it. So that definitely will be put into service as well. We have a lug for a steel tiptoe wheel. And that's pretty cool because I'm missing some on the 60. So I'll have to see if this is the size that fits the 60 or if it fits the 70. But either way, I've got some of each. So that's pretty neat. And what else do we have in here? I'm going to make sure I don't miss anything. We have a clutch throwout bearing in the Agco box for an 880. So that's another thing that definitely will be used at some point. So thank you very much, Steve. Totally unexpected, but uh, I appreciate everything you've done. And I appreciate all of you who watch the videos. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just, I'm amazed at how many people watch it and how far it goes and that uh, somebody would take the time to send me some stuff and spend a lot on shipping just to get it here. So that's pretty neat. So if you want to send something, whether it be packages or hate mail or whatever, you can send it to the address I have in all the videos. It's uh, P.O. Box 81, Brownstown, Indiana, 47220. So... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.